Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there uh, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello Excelers, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to discuss three reasons why your personal macro workbook is not loading automatically. This is a really common question I receive. So all going well every time I open Excel my trusty macro workbook loads up too. One day it didn't though. So I've got a good few blog posts about creating and updating your personal macro workbook. And if you want to learn more about the workbook, I'll leave the links in the description below. So after digging around, it seems there are a few reasons that your personal macro workbook might not load automatically. So let's work through them and probably you'll probably find that one of these three will fix your problem. So number one, is your workbook read only? So the first thing I check is your personal macro workbook file set to read only. So the way to do this is load up the personal.xlsb file, look in the title bar and see if it says read only. So the first thing we want to do is check that it is not flagged as read only. If it is, uncheck it and hit OK. The second reason why your personal macro workbook is not loading automatically is Excel may disable it. If it thinks it won't work or it has, or it's been corrupted in somehow, Excel may disable your workbook. So I'm working in Excel 2016. So if you follow the steps below and you can see if your workbook has become disabled, what you can do is hit file, options, and then go to add-ins in the bottom of the screen in manage click disabled items and hit go if your workbook has been disabled it will state it here and you can select it and hit enable and that will re-enable your personal macro workbook do consider this as a temporary fix though as excel for some reason has disabled it so it's probably corrupted in some way um, you might consider creating a new one or restoring it from a backup if you want to keep all of your macros that you've previously stored in your personal macro workbook. Good reason is you may have trust issues. So Excel might not tr trust the directory that actually holds the personal macro workbook. This directory is usually trusted, but if it's not, it won't load anything contained in it. So you may want to check the directory which holds your personal macro workbook. So again, I'll show you how to do this. It's file options and then go to trust center, click trust center settings then click trusted locations. And you want to check that your folder or your directory, you want to check that your directory that contains your personal, personal macro workbook is located in a trusted location. If it's not, you need to add it into this area by clicking add a new location and hitting OK. So that's it. Today we've covered my top three reasons why your personal macro workbook was not loading automatically. Number one, check if the workbook's read only. Number two, has the workbook been disabled? And number three, have you got any trust issues with the directory that the personal macro workbook is saved in? I hope you enjoyed this Excel tip. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It really does help the channel and I'll see you next time for more Excel videos.